What is up, you guys? So, I almost completely forgot to uh, do the live video today, even though I know I just started it last week, but I figured, you know, I'm not doing anything right now, so, and I'm gonna be pretty busy the rest of the day, so I'm not really gonna have a lot of time to um, do, like, the live later on, so, I figured, you know, just go ahead and just do it right now, which, uh, just making some uh, cauliflower rice, since that's just how Asian I am. I make rice out of everything. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess I'll start the video with that. Um, what are some of your guys' favorite, uh, your mama, your daddy, your also Asian jokes? Um, only one I can think of right now is, like, your mom's so Filipino that she eats rice with rice. Or, uh, your mom's so Filipino, even her, uh, even her, uh, culpit, even her, uh, cul culpits have flow runnels. Uh, your mom's so Filipino, every time she sees me, she pinches my cheek with her toes. What's up, fellow acrobat? Hey, what's up, Maximus? <clears throat> hey, living buddy, did you have a good, uh, you have a good 4th of July? I had a pretty chill 4th of July, uh, me and wife food didn't really do too much, kind of just hung out here, watched, uh, Mr. Iglesias on Netflix, um, eat some, uh, no, I don't even remember even what we ate yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, just, uh, making some cauliflower rice here. So uh, yeah, I already got started on one of them, but uh, I'll actually go through the process of uh, how I did it with the second one, so yeah, I'm just kind of taking a pulse one of them right now, throwing it in the old uh, Ninja Blendo hill, then it will end up looking like that, so my goal is to fill this entire back. comment down below uh, yeah if you're watching this after the fact go and comment elsewhere what are some of your guys' favorite your mama your daddy your sister is so Filipino jokes <laughs> Shaking it while I'm smacking the base. It's because uh, the bits of the cauliflower are getting stuck like underneath the blades, although just not, you know, hitting it. So that's why I'm shaking it around. That's why I'm smacking the base, and it falls uh, into the blade. So that way it gets a nice fine chop. That's what we get right now. Nice, finely chopped cauliflower rice. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, 4th of July was yesterday. Didn't really do too much. Uh, didn't really feel like much of a 4th of July, obviously since, you know, most of us stayed home. Um, fireworks were uh, banned across the county, which I know didn't stop some of y'all from shooting off fireworks since I literally saw fireworks across the street from my apartment complex, y'all. Sorry, our apartment complex. 
And, uh, yeah. Didn't really feel like much of a 4th of July, especially with everything that's been going on, but, eh. You know, can't complain, had a day off from work, so. Then today, um, yeah, then today, once I'm done with this, I'm probably gonna go down to the garage and make some, uh, I've been meaning to make some, uh, precision channels for my classes, just cause, um, just so then I have, like, specific equipment for my classes, um, which I tried not to do that, you know, I try to make it so that, you know, I use the equipment that's there, um, and also at the same time I didn't want to make it seem like you need specialized equipment, but, um, especially since I use a lot of the beams for a lot of, um, jump training, a lot of balance training, um, yeah, I just went ahead and decided, you know what, I'm just gonna make a couple, uh, couple of uh, precision channels out of some, uh, scrap wood I had, so, that's what I'm probably gonna do after this, um, probably gonna walk on, um, one of the calls. I haven't really decided which one yet. I'll see. I'll go through my to-do list for both of them, see which one actually needs it more. Um, but the truck, yeah, the truck still needs to get the transmission swapped, which I'm still talking to a couple shops about it. Um, some of them were like, some of them said that they're willing to take it in, but they're probably not going to be able to touch it for a good while. Um, others said that they can do it, but they can't install certain parts of it, so they're suggesting that I install, um, yeah, that I do some of it myself, at least the parts that doesn't require specialty tools, save me some labor costs, um, also so that, um, any work that they do can be warranted, but, uh, yeah, so that's what's going on with the truck, um, in terms of the Jetta, nothing really too crazy going on with it, um, Mostly butt butting up a couple loose ends on it. Definitely need to finish doing the wing on it, which uh, which that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing today. Um, I'm gonna hang out with uh, Bunny or uh, your pal Rabbit later today. So um, yeah, not sure if I'm gonna go live doing with them, but yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just a chill Sunday, so yeah, getting to what I was doing now, so you guys can see, nice, chunky, flawed, flowered, um, is that, is that the right term? Flowered? Yeah, flowered, uh, cauliflowers. Which, lid on. A little shake, so again, the blades make contact, and off we go. <laughs> see that but yeah I don't look like you can but yeah that's what I was talking about about how that's why I shake it and like smack the base in the can a little bit or whatever you call this thing so I smack it a little bit because I don't know if you saw that but there was like a piece of cauliflower that was like just outside of the blades um reach so it was like kind of stuck to the wall <laughs> process with this one. Pretty straightforward, but apparently some of you guys want me to explain things since apparently I have such a soothing ASMR type of Yeah, that's another thing. Um, go ahead and comment down below. Do um, you guys find any like DIY how-to tutorial videos, do you find them more appealing or so to speak easier to watch if it's like a friend of yours or if it's like the person is like a certain type of like voice. So that's actually one of the reasons why I 
haven't really gone into that kind of realm of like doing tutorials and stuff just because obviously I understand my accent pretty thick but also just in terms of like production I'm like most of those people have like light wings they have like a you know green screen so that's one of the reasons why I never actually went into doing that stuff but since some of you guys have been saying you want me to explain how to do stuff here we go so yeah so here we have a fresh head of cauliflower so obviously first things fall let's go ahead and just rip all of the rip all these greens off oh if it's on a really thick stock like this is you can just take your knife and just chop it off so also while you're chopping this off ripping all the things off go ahead and inspect it see if there's any um like moldy spots any dark spots which this one's actually pretty clean as far as i can see um yeah look for any like any like black spots any soft spots all that and then obviously uh give it a little rinse so um just a little quick rinse, nothing too crazy, you don't really need to scrub it, you don't really need to like get to every single crevice, paw on it. If not, whatever, you know. Little alt spice is always nice. Might make your stomach hurt a little bit, but it's not gonna kill you. So uh yeah. So stock, give it a little quick rinse, and then on your heel, lay flat, and just cut it in half. It's always been fascinated with like cross sections of like broccoli and cauliflower and stuff because looks like a bite. What's that? Um, and then from here, like I said, you can. There's a couple methods in terms of how you want to flower it. Uh, I'm actually gonna find a couple black spots right here, so I'm kind of gonna kind of just shave them off right now. So yeah, if you see any black spots, any like mold spots, just like I'm doing right now, just shrub blade or whatever, I'll just kind of shave it off a little bit. So in terms of flowering it, there's a couple methods you can do. Um, you can on this one, for example, you can kind of just lay it flat and then all the little stalks and stuff right here, you can kind of just cut through them. So then you get all these little trees falling off of it. Or you can literally just take it by hand and just whip it up all. So in terms of the stock, um, you can keep it, throw it in a steel or something, but we don't need it, so it out and then once you drop them here in the in the cup you put them in the cup there's a couple ways you can go about doing that um, you can throw them in whole but I find actually tearing them up or chopping them up a little bit beforehand does help because obviously it makes it easier for the blades to cut through it and at the same time it also reduces the amount of uh, pulp you have So yeah, what was I talking about before this? Oh yeah, so the Jetta, the Jetta's pretty not done. I don't, don't want to say done because I'm never gonna be done with it. Um, but yeah, it's closer to being at a point where I really don't feel like I need to do anything else to it. I mean, obviously, it's already at a really recognizable point where a lot of people obviously recognize my call on site. But it's getting to the point where I don't again feel the need to really do anything to it aside from. Um, little maintenance or bills, I don't know. Probably in terms of mods, the only other things aside from the wing 
I want to do is I actually want to connect that nitrous bottle that I have in the back. So a lot of you guys saw it and thought, okay, you know, it's just like the oil cooler, you're just doing it for display. Yes, but that's because I didn't want to. That's because I got the bottle, I got the lines, I just didn't have the, um, what's it called, the, uh, the nozzle kit. So, once I get the nozzle kit, um, it was actually a uh, company that makes a uh, throttle body plate. So, yeah, a throttle body plate that can easily be used for water methyl nitrous. So I'm gonna do that. Um, luckily, the tune that I have, um, that's from 068 Technic. Um, I actually need to email them about this just to be completely sure. But according to them, the tune that I have, um, it's self, uh, it's self adjusting. So any hold rail that you add to it, it will automatically adjust as needed. Which, for the most part, all tunes are like that. But considering that the tune I have now, as you guys have seen, it's built specifically to do uh, two step, crack topple, and all that. So, <clears throat> I mean, granted, it already did that to begin with. It's just obviously now it's more, um, it's more prominent because, yeah, times have changed. The tune that I used to have on it, that was from EPR, and I got that back in 2000, yeah, like 2000, like 2013 maybe. So yeah, times have definitely changed. Not to mention that that was a pretty, pretty mild tune by today's standards. But there isn't really anything wrong with it. I mean, I still have it. Just in case I decide to 1.8 swap um, the truck, or you know something happens to will um, I need to actually swap ECUs again. So I still have it just in case, cause it wasn't a uh, flash. I swapped out the entire ECU. So it's what I'm kind of bummed about. I did kind of lose my um, some of the APL features, cause the the thing I liked about the APL is that you could have multiple features on one thing and then it was easily, um, it was easily uh, adjustable. So I had the stock program just because I thought I needed it, which actually really didn't. Um, I had the 91 octane tune, 93 octane tune, and then that was it in terms of programs. And then in terms of additional features, it had a valet mode to a limited yeah, so it limited the speed to, I think, 15 miles an hour. Um, or maybe 30, I don't know. But I just know it limited the speed and it completely cut off the turbo. Or at least it completely restricted boost. So, kind of sad I never actually got to use it and get Valley's reactions like, Oh, hey, just so you know, uh, your car wouldn't accelerate past a certain point. Yeah, I know. So, aside from that, I also had any theft, which... I don't know about you, but I don't really think people are stealing Volkswagens, even if they all <laughs> of all the Volkswagens, why the hell are you gonna steal mine, considering it's one of the most recognizable ones? But, you know, shit happens, people still raise calls. I mean freaking somebody stole Kevin's Integra, which yeah that's small, but steal a bright yellow Integra that everybody knows whose Integra that is. But so yeah, that's it in terms of the Jetta, um, mostly, yeah, I'm not really gonna be really doing too much more to the Jetta, considering that I'm obviously building up the truck, um, after the 20, 20, tranny swap, um, yeah, after that, kind of debating what I want to do, I mean, I do have the engine that came with it, just because the guy didn't want to hold it, he sold me the transmission and the engine, which... So I have a couple options there, I could build that engine up, which... Since I already have the Jetta, which is a turbo call, I really want to try my hand at building a individual throttle-bodied engine, which, according to everybody on the forums, everybody on the Facebook groups, it actually isn't that hard, it's just obviously tuning is a problem, which again, that's something else I really want to try my hand out is learning tuning. Um, 
Uh, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but these past four months has really forced me to, not forced me, but really given me the opportunity to do a lot of things I never had enough time or enough patience to do, such as doing my own fabrication, loaning, um, loaning, uh, loaning automotive wiring and all that, so, yeah. <laughs> Possibly building an ITB engine. If not, then I'll just you know just build a uh, just build a bone twenty eight. I mean, I could build the engine that's in the truck right now. It's possible. It's been done, but it just has. It's just gonna take a little bit more work since that particular engine has almost no um, aftermarket support, which kind of voted me out. I mean, considering that. You know, people tuning Volkswagens since, you know, 60s, 70s, yet they didn't actually make a lot of performance parts for the rabbits, the cabriolets, the all that until around the time that the 1.8 Leo engine came out. So the support for the 1.6 diesel, and then obviously the 1.8, um, not the 1.8 T, but the 1.8, um, engine that came in the Mark 1, but those like very little to no pulse for the 1.7, which is in the truck right now. So. But the one thing, but the one thing that 1.7 has going for it though is that it has a lot of low-end torque. Like, when I first got it, oh man. How hard it would just come off the line and blew me away. Like I seriously think it's 60 foot harder than the Jetta is. Which kind of makes sense considering how light it is. Which also makes sense too because it's a full speed so the gearing is really close. But still, man. I'll skill I would freak people out how hard it would come off the line. And then obviously they'd catch me because I only have 70 horsepower. If that. But, uh, yeah, so, what else is on everybody's mind today? <laughs> so, starting... Yeah, so starting tomorrow, it's gonna be my third, second, third, yeah, third, third week, third week uh, back at work, third week since the gym's uh, reopened. Which, if you guys follow my, if you guys follow my YouTube, if you guys follow my stories, my regular posts, you know that I never really, I never really stopped walking. I mean, I did Zoom classes, I did the little. Uh, well, quick mini lessons on the gym's Instagram when I went live, so I never actually really stopped um, walking, so to speak. But like in terms of like actually having like to actually make like lesson plans, you know, plan for certain students, all that, yeah. But it's been like it's been hasn't really been that yeah hasn't really been that different. To be honest, um, obviously, yeah, like the whole social distancing, having to constantly sanitize, that's been a bit of an adjustment, but again, it's not really anything different from what I was doing before. Like, I would, yeah, so in between classes, you know, before and after my breaks, I would, you know, give myself a little squad of hand sanitizer. Um, if a kid, you know, sneezed, spit, Pissed on any of the equipment, you know, I'd clean it before like, the next class began, or if I was floating around, you know, I'd take it upon myself to do it. So, yeah, I mean, if anything, I kind of feel like having to do extra sanitation is actually a good thing, especially in 
you know, not just in my, not just in my job field, but just like in general. So I know like, in terms of like salons, you know, a lot of people complaining that it's like, oh, I have to do all these like things, like before I have a client coming, when it's like, you probably should have been doing that to begin with, like cleaning your, yeah, like cleaning your um, supplies, you know, wiping down your chills, you know, all that. It's like, some of that stuff, I just like, hold and I'm like, that's gross. <laughs> You're complaining that you have to do extra sanitation when that should have been regular sanitation to begin with. But, uh, uh yeah. So I'm almost done with this thing, so, uh, yeah. It's been a good talk with everybody, even though I did most of the talking. Um, Shout out to, uh, who was it again? Maximus, yeah. So shout out to Max for checking in. Uh, what up to Godo, Kenneth, Adrian, what's up dude? <clears throat> they let you out. Which, yeah. Shout out to Adrian. I seriously think of everybody in San Diego, he has the funniest cop stories. Because back when you had a, yeah, back when you had your IS, which was like, probably the second or third call I associated you with. So back when you had the IS, I remember it was after one of the Stanson Enhance meets. So you pulled over, but then I saw the cop walking away from you. So I'm like, alright, cool. He's letting you go. Literally, saw him in my rearview mill, pull off the sidewalk. Probably didn't even make it 50 feet, he got pulled over again. And according to him, I don't know if he was being serious or not, but according to him, they gave him two separate tickets. So the first cop gave him one ticket, left the sidewalk, got pulled over within 50 feet of that first spot getting pulled over, and got a second ticket. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I mean, like I said, I'll probably go live um, one more time later when I'm hanging out with everybody. Um, hanging out with Bunny and uh, her boyfriend, Paris. Uh, and yeah, that one you might actually, yeah, actually that one might be a little bit interesting because while we're hanging out, might have them kind of give me their take on how um, things have, how they've had to adjust, how things have changed for them over the past four months. Because Bunny, um, if you don't know, Bunny, your, your pill rabbit, she works at a body jewelry kiosk at Love Bonita. And she's also a expert on body modifications. So, uh, if anybody is planning on getting any piercing, getting any tattoos, doing any type of body modification, and you need some advice, you need some tips, you want to know a little bit more about it, by all means, hit her up. She is by far one of the most um, educated people I have ever met on the subject of body modification and just body mods in general. So by all means, if you have any questions, hit her up. She is an expert on the matter. Um, so yeah. How's that? Her boyfriend... I honestly forgot what he does. Um, I think he walks. I mean, I think he's a field walker. Um, yeah, I think he's a field worker or he works in retail now. I forgot, I'll probably ask him later, but yeah, like I said, it was that. And then if Waifu wants to get into it, we'll talk to her about it, well, um, yeah, she's, uh, so her being a former English teacher, now she's a yoga instructor, training to be a ball instructor, so, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand with what's going on with me in the fitness, uh, youth fitness, um, Spe uh, speckle, uh, speckle. So, yeah, like I said, I'll probably do that later while we're eating our burritos, while we're hanging out. So, until then, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, if you're not already, make sure to hit that follow button. Um, make sure you check the links in my bio to follow my YouTube, follow the Modified Alliance YouTube, the Modified Alliance secondary Instagram, and uh, 
yeah, just have a great Sunday, everybody. Remember to be kind to each other, be understanding, and just wear your damn masks. Alright, see everybody later.